Hey Wildcats and welcome to Wildcat World. This is the first edition of this series. And, drum roll please. I'm back after like eight, seven months. I'm back. <laughs> I'm here to stay, whether you like it or not. So, Wildcat World, what this is, is the world's through a Wildcats perspective. We're gonna forget about school. Right now, school does not matter. Don't tell anyone I said that. But right now, we're gonna be talking about pop culture, what's going on, so I think we have something about books, we got something about music, we got something about movies, lawsuits. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> so the- spill the tea. <laughs> you're spilling all the tea. So kick back, relax, and forget about your school worries. First topic that I wanna hit on, Kanye West. We're all familiar. Right? Okay. But here, here's what gets me excited. I, well, maybe. I'm not gonna Don't have- Don't your hopes up. Yeah, exactly. So he's having listening parties. So then it was August 6th it was supposed to release. And right before that, he went, so, I forget where he went. I know the, the latest one he's going to do. But he goes and has a listening party. And it's this first event, he has something cool planned for each event. He's in an open roof stadium. They open the roof to the stadium. Mm -hmm. do, you know, do we know why? What? It was so his belated mother that his album is named after could watch his performance. That's actually and so that's kind of that's goosebumpy. And so he has this show, and August sixth comes, nothing, silence, and then August, and it's not even a solid date. The next time he says, "Well, this is gonna be," it's either the thirteenth or the fifteenth of August. I don't know. Well, I mean, well now that it's you know. The 19th. Give him, give him a little bit more time to work on it. Kanye's mm -hmm. got a lot going on, especially with his relationship and his mental health and the social media just bashing on him constantly. Yeah. Maybe he needs a little bit more time before Mama hears his songs. And this is where I get excited. The Another listening party right after this one. He full on ascends. Like, harness strapped up in the middle of the stage, <laughs> starts floating <laughs> like the scene off Spongebob. I don't know if we can edit in Kanye ascending. Please, if we, we can. We don't even need Kanye ascending. Can we do it with <laughs> Spongebob? Side by side. Side by side. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, it's what you, uh, August 19th. Still nothing. Silence. He's having another listening party in Chicago here soon. So we'll see what happens after that. All right, moving on to our next topic. We're kind of move on to Dallas. And he's kind of touched on a little bit of Stephen King and what's going on in that world of literature and books. So a new book is coming out uh, by Stephen King called Wendy's Final Task. There's not much known about the book, really. It's just other than the base story, this kid when he's... Question, is the kid's name Wendy? Yes. The main character's Question. name is Wendy. Who nice. names their kid Wendy? Stephen King. Stephen King. <laughs> Are we sure the kid's name is Gwendy? Because it, the clown's name is not it. It's Pennywise. Well, I mean, yeah, but technically if I saw that thing, I'd be like, yeah, it's, no, it's, <laughs> it's not happening. It's That's not happening. Not today. All right, what has you excited about this book? Um, I've read a lot of Stephen King's books. I've liked them. My parents have really uh, gotten me into them recently. Yeah. And my favorite one has to be Cujo. If Mm. I'm pretty sure everyone knows Cujo, but if you don't, it's about this uh, this big this big dog that gets bit by a bat and ends up becoming uh, very feral with rabies. And that sounds like a child's worst night. I think honestly, Stephen King he does write really good books, but he needs to make the characters a little more in depth because he he has so many characters and we see so many point of views and get so many stories. But I want to know certain characters as themselves. Like, let's have a little series full of each little character. Or just specific characters that are part of the main franchise that's going to help sell that. Maybe that could be more like screenplay instead of... Yeah, but I, I would prefer to read about yeah. the little red-haired girl from It in a book. <laughs> Let's get to know Cujo a little bit better next time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe if we understood his story, maybe he would be the villain. All right, and moving for our next story today with a new set of clothes on. Fresh story, fresh clothes. <laughs> Alexis has something to bring to the table, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Today I'm going to be talking about the new Marvel movie, The Black... Black Widow. It stars Scarlett Johansson, who has frequently been in almost all of the Avenger movies. So... Black Widow was released on July 9th, 2021, and it was released on Disney Plus and in theaters. However, that was a breach of Johansson's contract. 
Johansson had signed a contract with Disney and Marvel saying that Disney would not release Black Widow on their streaming website. It was a breach of Johansson's contract. The contract stated that Disney Plus would not release Black Widow on their streaming website until the, the theatrical release had already been settled. They also stated that Johansson, Johansson would have money for it releasing on Disney Plus as well, but right now it's looking like she's not going to get anything unless if she wins. She's not the getting lawsuit. like any. Until that lawsuit is finished, she cannot get anything from Disney Plus. Okay. Well, after the lawsuit, she might just have more money. Yeah, she's, she's definitely serious. gonna. She's definitely gonna take some time off because guess what? We're having a little Black Widow baby. Her and her husband are pregnant. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's cool. I saw it, I saw it on the news the other day. I thought we were just talking about lawsuits, but children. Yeah. Um, so, like, after the lawsuit, she could just retire and just, you know, raise her kid with all that money that she well, like, Alrighty, that was going to be our last and final segment of Wildcat World. This is, again, a new addition to our lineup of videos and content. So, I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Do it! Let's yeah. do it. Show that Wildcat pride. And have a fantastic day, Wildcats. See you later.